Hi guys, today I just want to show you some printing skills in Excel. There's a lot of people that get all their work done, they know how to work with formulas, they know how to format, but then when it comes to printing, everything's coming out of the printer looking totally not like they want it to. Okay, so I'm going to show you some basic uh, setups for printing. Okay, so first of all, if you go over to the page layout tab, and you click on the page setup expansion box you'll get this page setup box here you can choose between landscape and portrait you can adjust the size of the scaling of the sheet what I like to do is if I know for sure that I want this to fit on a certain number of pages I select fit to and this is this tells us how many pages wide it should fit and how many pages tall Okay, so you can mess with these things and get it to squeeze down to what you need. Sometimes it would be convenient to get everything on one page, but it just does not look right. It's way too big to fit on one page, so it'll be super tiny and won't be legible. So you just have to see what's possible and tinker with the tall. Usually I mess with the tall. Okay, next tab is margins. You can tinker with the margins here, make it give some more space if you need it or take some away you can center your stuff vertically and horizontally if you need be from here you can go to print preview and you can see what you've done you see if I've centered it vertically and horizontally you can go right back to page setup from print preview next tab we got headers and footers so we can put a custom header in my name and you can choose whether it's left section center or right and you have some formatting options here hit OK do a little footer here and we'll do put that in the bottom right say thank you for watching my video hit OK and we could hit OK and see how it looks in preview as you can see, the header went onto the top left, footer bottom right. Sometimes uh, in a class they'll require you to put your name in the top footer. Another useful thing is in the sheet tab. You can put grid lines if you haven't already specified borders. You can choose whether you want a draft quality, although I don't use these things too much these could be useful okay so overall you got the page tab useful to switch between portrait and landscape the scaling is really useful this I don't really mess with too much it's usually on a default setting the margins centering headers and footers and some miscellaneous things if I hit OK here I just switched it to landscape looks pretty good to me and then you could go ahead and print Okay, so I hope this was helpful and it'll help, help you save some paper. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and make sure you let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to cover. Till next time, practice, practice, practice.